Amy, I'm in that exact same spot that protest and vigil was earlier today, but we've been walking through the streets of Uptown Charlotte. You can see protesters are still out here now. They've stopped back in front of the Omni Hotel. National Guard is still out here, but I've seen a lot of people shaking the hands of those National Guard, telling them thank you. So, so far, it has been a peaceful night through the Charlotte streets. It got, it got ugly out here. We gather knowing that the story for this night is not yet written. That's why clergy members in Charlotte made it their goal to show their presence. The importance to have a peaceful presence of clergy here to try and continually bring love and peace to this situation. We want to commemorate the lives that have been lost. Hundreds of people gathered on the sidewalk in front of the Omni where a protester was shot. Clergy members laid out candles as a memorial for the protester who lost his life in this very area. Heartbreaking. It's, I love this city. I love the city. I love the people. This is my home, and it was, uh, it was very disturbing. People who came out sprinkled holy water in the area and even knelt together and prayed. One human life is worth all these shiny buildings in this city. Yes. But not everyone in the crowd thought that was the best way to make change in the city. Well, we done praying, you know, we got we, it's action now. Clergy members say they know people are tired and that protesters feel nobody is listening and nothing's changing. But they say instead of bashing the unrest, try to look at the situation differently. Not condoning, don't get me wrong, uh, but compassion and understanding. <laughs> As I said, these protesters have been marching since around 9 this evening. They marched down to the jail here in Charlotte. They stood in front of that, chanting at the inmates, saying, we see you, we love you. Then they made their way back here. You can still see them chanting in front of the Omni here. But